This presentation looks at the augmentation stage of the SAMR model, providing some examples to explain this stage of the model. The presentation is a tour in a series of presentations on the SAMR model. This series is made up of five presentations, an introduction to the model, followed by four separate presentations, each one concentrating on a different stage. Augmentation. This is where technology acts as a direct tool substitute with minor functional changes and minor functional improvement. There are so many instances where technology is just used on an augmentation level, but it is important to note at this stage that the same technology may be used by a different teacher in a slightly different manner that will move it to different levels of the SAMR model. So in other words, the technology is not limited to one particular level. It all depends on how it's used. The SAMR model itself. The technology adaption life cycle, coined by this gentleman, Ruben Pilantura, is divided into four distinct stages, hence the name, the SAMR model. In a previous video, I introduced the SAMR model and outlined the various elements. So I'm not going to go into that now, but if you are interested, you can find other resources that I've created on the SAMR model through the web link that is now appearing on your screen. The life cycle starts at the bottom of the page at substitution. Then it progresses to augmentation, then to modification, and finally to redefinition. So, just to repeat, augmentation, the A stage of the SAMR model, where technology acts as a direct tool substitute with minor functional change and improvement. So let's see some examples. Earlier I mentioned Ruben Pedantura, the brains behind this model. He used a typewriter as a potential example at substitution level. At augmentation level, a similar example would be if a word processor was used. If it was used by a student, per se, to type an essay, elements such as the spell checker or the cut and paste or anything similar would move the task up to the augmentation level. It's where technology acts as a direct tool substitute, as in they're not writing it on a page with a, a, a pen, and it does have minor functional improvements, like doing the spell check. So let's look at our second example. The second example from my experience would be the way some people use a smart board. This piece of technology has huge potential in the classroom. An example of the interactive whiteboard or the smart board at augmentation level would be the ability to save content from the screen and make it available at a later date, whether it's available to you or indeed for your students. It is, again, an example of where a substitution of um, a normal tool, classroom tool, a whiteboard, and you have functional improvement. The final case study I'll show you for augmentation is the use of Moodle and particularly the use of quizzes in Moodle. It's when a teacher used to provide in-class exams for the students. Now, using technology, they post online quizzes instead on their VLE. The student is still asked the same questions, but they can get instant feedback, instant personalized feedback on each one of the answers. Therefore, it's a direct substitute for the in-class quiz but there's an improvement from the student's point of view and also from the teacher's point of view. There are three examples I've given and the conclusions I would say is just like the substitution level, augmentation stage is a platform for improvement. Return on investment ROI is definitely visible. And as I said, a lot of technologies can be used as examples at each stage. It all depends on how they're implemented. The aim of this presentation was to highlight the augmentation stage of the summer model and hopefully this video has encouraged you to look, look at your teaching techniques and see how, where they fit in. As I mentioned earlier, the video is supported by additional videos illustrating examples of each one of the elements and these are available through my blog enhancingteaching.com. I'd like to acknowledge the sources that I've used in this presentation and I've purposely used my Deco bookmark to share these references with you and this will ensure that they, you will always receive the most up-to-date set of references that I have on the summer model no matter what day you view this video. 
I mentioned my blog in the last slide, so I won't flaunt it too much. But there are a significant amount of resources for teachers available through this site, all of which are free. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. Hopefully you found it very useful.